everyone. Welcome to Storytime with Mrs. Prudhomme. This is the month of February, and I would like to tell you some of the events that is happening this month. First, I'm going to start with Groundhog Day. That was February the 2nd. Then on February the 14th is Valentine's Day. And on February the 15th, we will be celebrating President's Day. Are you ready to listen? Here we go. Next, we celebrated Groundhog Day on February the 2nd. Groundhog Day is celebrated each year on February the 2nd, when people across the country wait to discover if a small furry rodent will predict an early spring or another six weeks of harsh winter weather. For those of you who don't know the science around the tradition, if the groundhog sees its shadow, winter will be around for a little while longer. However, if the groundhog doesn't see his shadow, spring is on its way. So let's see what's going to happen. Mr. Groundhog, Mr. Groundhog, take a peek, take a peek. If you see your shadow, weather will be awful for six more weeks, six more weeks. Cut. So the groundhog peeked his head out of the hole. And guess what? I heard on the news, he saw his shadow. So we're going to have six more weeks of winter. Next we have Valentine's Day, celebrated on February the 14th. This is a day you can tell those that you love Happy Valentine's Day, how much you feel about them on a card or in person. But here is my Valentine's message to you. Roses are red, violets are blue. Mrs. Prudhomme likes it when you return your books when they are due. Yay! Now I'm going to read a story about two friends. But first I'm going to tell you some facts about hippos. I took this picture at the L.A. Zoo. Hippos are large, round, water-loving animals. The average female weighs about 3,000 pounds and the male weighs between 3,500 to 9,020 pounds. Wow. Now I'm going to read a fun story about George and Martha, written and illustrated by James Marshall, titled Split Pea Soup. Martha was very fond of making split pea soup. Sometimes she made it all day long. Pots and pots of split pea soup. If there was one thing that George was not fond of, it was split pea soup. As a matter of fact, George hated split pea soup more than anything else in the world. But it was hard to tell Martha. One day after George had eaten ten bowls of Martha's soup, he said to himself, I just can't stand another bowl, not even a spoonful. So while Martha was out in the kitchen, George carefully poured the rest of the soup into his loafers under the table. Now she will think I have eaten it, but Martha was watching from the kitchen. Uh-oh. How do you expect to walk home with your loafers full of split pea soup? She asked George. Oh dear, said George. You saw me? And why didn't you tell me that you hate my split pea soup? I didn't want to hurt your feelings, said George. That's silly, said Martha. Friends should always tell each other the truth. Yes, they should. As a matter of fact, I don't like split pea soup very much myself. I only like to make it. From now on, you'll never have to eat that awful soup again. What a relief, George sighed. Would you like some chocolate chip cookies instead? Asked Martha. Oh, that would be lovely, said George. Then you shall have them said his friend. And we will be celebrating President's Day for the year 2021 is celebrated slash observed on Monday, February the 15th. We will be celebrating George Washington, the first president of the United States and Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States because both their birthdays are in February. 
but honors all presidents who served in the United States. I hope you enjoy the February events. Now for the fun part. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Remember to be kind. So long.